What up, what up, what up? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen and pets of all ages? Welcome back to another NBA 2K14 micro gameplay. And today, we are going up against the Thunder. I said we are going up against Oklahoma City Thunder. Now, they definitely have a squad. You know, we got Durant, who's arguably the best player in the NBA. You know, uh, we got uh, Westbrook, who's arguably, you know, one of the best point guards in the league. So, you know, we're going to have some issues. Right there, we go around the edge, and we go up for the gym. Why do I always give that little duck face after every time? I just look at the audience, just duck face, no matter what it is, no matter what it is to do. Right there, we go around the back a couple times, and uh, bad pass, bad pass. Uh, I got confused. See, what happened was our practice jerseys are white, so I had thought that he was open, and then I threw it to a white jersey, and oh, snap. That's that's practice jersey, and I told the coach, "Listen, my bad. I got I got I got confused. It happens. It happens sometimes. It happens. Right here, I'm begging him on the end. I'm showing him the girth, showing him the strength. Right? What? What? Three seconds? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, man. That wasn't no three sec or five sec. However many seconds it was, man. I I I, I was counting. I was counting, man. Y'all y'all robbing me. And right there, we go for another jam and one. And what? Then what are you checking your breath? You see that he had his hands on his face. The old snap. We're going to the free throw line. <laughs> let, me, let me see how my breath is smelling. So right now we go into the free throw line, man. We're trying to convert this and one, and that's exactly what we do. We end up uh, making it a ten. No, excuse me, eleven to ten lead right now. So right now, man, five one and one. Trying to, you know, pass the ball. Oh, show him the range. One time, I said, show him the range. You guys gotta know. That I've been working on that nice deep stroke. You know what I'm saying? When I get on the court, we show them the range, though. I let them know. Listen here, baby. Listen, listen, listen. When we up on this court, I need you to respect the stroke. You know what I'm saying? There's two things you need to respect in this world. One, respect the pouch. Don't ever blow up one of those Capri Sun pouches and step on it. I've seen the commercials. you explode. You'll turn into a party favor. You'll turn into, like, a turtle. Don't do it. Respect the pouch. Respect it. And number two, you need to respect the stroke. So right here, man, just back off a pass. I actually fumble and I try to play some good defense, which technically I did. I must have because this is a good shot defense right there on the screen. You see that. I see that. We all see that. But Westbrook makes a shot anyway. So, right here. What, 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 fast break? Give me somebody in the left, somebody in the right. Nobody up the middle in case I want to drive. And that's exactly what we do. We go around the edge. Nobody's there. Show them the stroke. Show them that I be in practice just working on my stroke. Just all day, every day. Like, yo, GS, what you finna do after the game, man? You know what I'm finna do? I'm gonna go to the practice gym, and I'm gonna work on my stroke. You know what I'm saying? I got, I'm trying to get them nice, deep, long strokes. So here we go, man, back again on fire! So, uh, we're actually down a good amount. We're actually down 12 right here. And I see you, I see you, but I'm trying to penetrate. But they're playing good defense. I'm trying to, I'm trying to penetrate, and he's like, no, this, this area is, is just absolutely shut down. And... Try to hit him with the baby hook. Whoop! Oh, you must have forgot about Puerto Rican, son. We like to take things that don't belong to us. Now, I know there might be a Puerto Rican in the comment section. Like, whoa, wait a minute. I've never stolen anything in my life. That's an accusation. You're wrong. Now, listen. I'm not saying that you've stolen something before. You quite possibly have never taken anything in your life. Quite possible. But all I'm saying is that you have the ability to take things. Because naturally, as Puerto Rican... You know, uh, being the Latino descent, we're, we're kind of gifted with the ability to be able to take things. You know what I'm saying? There are certain stereotypes in this world that I don't believe are stereotypes. I believe that they are facts. Just like they say black people can jump. I got a lot of black friends. I live in the hood. So when you live in the hood, sports and music is all there is to do. There's nothing else to do. And every time I go play ball with my homies, they can jump very high. I'm Puerto Rican. I can't jump to save my life. My entire family's Puerto Rican. My entire family can't jump. We've never been able to jump. Pressing the doorbell is about the highest we may be able to jump. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to say, and I'm not saying all black people can jump because that's not true. But most of them, most black people can jump. Just like Puerto Ricans can't jump. You know what I'm saying? Jews, I got Jewish friends. I do. This is a true story, y'all. True story. Sit back and let me learn you, son. He's cheap. He's cheap. I can't, I don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? He don't mean to be that way. It's just in the blood. He's he's cheap. So, do I say all Jews are cheap? Absolutely not. That that would be a not nice thing to say. That's that's stereotypical. But 
Yeah, I'm just saying that he's 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 a cheap dude. You know what I'm saying? He's the type of guy where he'll order a pizza and it'll come in and you know they'll hold out the hand for the tip. You know what I'm saying? You know the driver's like, yeah, I'm gonna go him this pizza, right? And then I'm gonna go get me a tip, right? And then he comes out, my man come out with a yarmulke. He's like, oh damn, I already know what's about to happen. You know, he pulls his hand out, like, let me see if I get a tip. And the guy's like, wait a minute, don't then you get paid to drive here? I'm not paying you a tip. I'm not giving you anything extra. I bought the pizza. You brought it to me. They give you a paycheck. That's how it goes. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying all Puerto Ricans still. Not true. But we do know how to fit seven people in a Honda. I've, I've seen it. I've been one of them. I've been one of them. It's, it's like a little jack-in-the-box how we can fit, like, 13 of us in one vehicle. It, it's it's crazy. We turn into like origami, and our limbs ju we just like paper clip our legs to the back, and, and nobody's sitting on each other's lap either. It's crazy how we can just fit so many people in one vehicle, and we also know how to take. It's a gift. It's a gift. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, that's been going on for too long. So like I was saying, man, 82 to 79 at this game right here, and Durant is he's, he's giving us problems. He's he's a beast. He's like 612. He's he's quick as he looks like just a big ass swan, just just neck bobbing and all that, just going to the rack. He's so damn big and so damn fast, and he's got a stroke. You know what I'm saying? He's been stroking me down. He was stroking. Did Derek Fisher really just wipe the sweat off of his eyebrows? Can somebody please get that man a headband? Not only did he wipe the sweat off of his eyebrow, he flicked it towards our bench. Disrespectful for Derek Fisher to be wiping his sweat glands all up on our direction. You know what I'm saying? I gotta sit there. I get I get sat to the bench sometimes, man. I don't wanna go to my chair like, oh, there's Derek Fisher juice all up and down this chair. It looked like this chair's been on a sauna. It looked like somebody's been rotisserie this chair. Look at all this just liquid everywhere. Why? Because Derek Fisher wanna go on ahead and wipe his sweat glands all in our direction. Right there, we go for the jam on one and we get the foul right there. So I'm trying to keep us in the game, right? Going to Cousins, Cousins is a big dude. He's like, yo, GS, I was open. I'm like, listen, I know you was open, but I'm trying to make plays, baby. I'm trying to make plays here, man. You can't fault me for trying to make plays. Right here, again, you know, time is about to end. We pass it to the inside. We get an assist. I said we get an assist. Right there, man, 38-62 up at this point. But then they score immediately right back. Every time I felt like we were trying to get close, uh, Got a little difficult, man. They just continue to score. Right there. Oh, don't show them the stroke. Pass again inside. And uh, <laughs> end up missing that. And we go to the fourth quarter up eight. So, uh, down eight. Excuse me. So, hopefully we can make a run. You know, I do start the fourth quarter. And I believe I played the entire fourth quarter. So, right there. Look at Durant. He broke the hell out of me. I thought he was going left. He went right. And he scored. And I, why the hell am I Dan Dwight? I mean, Dwight. Why am I Dan Durant anyway? He's too damn quick. Speaking of too quick, I go around the outside. And another dunk right there to try and keep us in the game, man. Like I said, I'm trying my best. As you guys see, 43-6-2. And, and I'm just really trying to, you know, do what I can do to win, man. You know what I'm saying, you know? So right here, man, he goes towards the inside of the computer. And it's that superstar cheese. Now, a lot of people were saying in the comment section, yo, you think Superstar is crazy. That Hall of Fame, they may miss two shots. They may miss two shots. And I'm like, oh, I'm not looking forward to going there. So here we go, man, trying to trying to back them on down. You know, whoop, whoop, whoop. Then go up for the leg. You know what I'm saying? You got to hit them with a good four or five pump fakes. You know what I'm saying? And while I'm doing them, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. So they start hitting me with the double team, man. So you figure that we will be able to find more um, open teammates. Right there, I don't know what the hell he's doing. He finally gives me back the ball. And another splash from the outside, man. Just going on ahead and hitting that stroke right there. Like I said, I've been working on the stroke. Been working on it. So, um, every time I feel like we got close, something huge happened. Look at it. Look at Westbrook out there just putting in work with the three-point shot. Uh, after that main free throw, we were down 11. We would close it up to like five or six or seven. And then they would just not miss. And then we would miss. And it was just bad. So, you know, right here, double team, quick pass to uh, Isaiah Thomas, and he actually makes that three. He had a bad game. He was like one for eight or something like that. Like, the team was just missing way too many shots. Just it, very, very frustrating. Right there, man, we get a steal. Woo -woo, woo -woo, open on the wing. Stop and pop with the long stroke. And we end up draining that, man. So, like I said, right now it's down five. Two minutes remaining, definitely enough time. Now it's seven. Obviously, they made a shot. So, right here, trying to keep our guys, you know, uh, intact right here. Trying to see if I can find something open. You pick. I roll. That's how it goes. Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my damn. Oh, my goodness. Yes, it's going ham. When you see the train coming, you get out of the way. 
When you see the train is coming down your aisle, you get out of the way. Get off of the tracks when the train is coming, son. That's all I'm saying. Right there's a steal. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm open. I'm open. I thought I was going to go up with a dunk, but apparently he wants to shoot a mid-range jump shot. And we actually end up making that. So 3.3 uh, seconds. Game is over. Game is over. We end up losing, and it, it sucks. We lost. Even though we scored almost 60, <laughs> we still lost. Teammates just couldn't get it together, and uh, we end up losing the game. So very, very frustrating to score my career high, which is almost 60, and still be able to lose the game you know what i mean what what more can i do you know i gotta score obviously i could have scored 75 but i couldn't i tried but like i said man, that's the end of the game man i hope you guys enjoyed love each and every single one of you guys man it's your boy gs and we are out peace give it to me baby the parent you gave it everything you had putting up those crazy numbers how disappointing is it then to come away with the loss Am I, am I disappointed? Am I, bitch, did you watch the game? Hell yeah, I'm disappointed. I scored almost 60. You know what 60 is? That's like 59 plus 1. That's like, what's times? I don't know. I didn't go to college. Listen, it's like a lot of times a lot. I put my heart and soul out there. I'm scoring points left to right. The coach is like, yo, Jess, what are you doing? I'm going to shut your old ass up. I'm scoring buckets and we lose it. Am I disappointed? Hell yeah, I'm disappointed. What kind of question is that? I'm out. I'm pissed. I'm mad. I'm upset. I'm not happy. I'm angry.